Okay. Would you so, say the place? No, nope, it's there? called Woodland. Woodland Adult. Adult or Adult Partial Hospital Program at Woodland Centers in Wilmer. And what they do there is, it looks like it's a, I think it's about a month long program. Um, again, adult mental health or the county and help you get. Now, to when you say outpatient, there. you mean this is like a placement? Well, no, it's called outpatient because you don't actually sleep there or have to stay there. Do I get to live here? Yep. Okay. Yep. It's just like going to the therapist's office or... Because LSS has me set up for therapy. Yep. No, but this is more... What this will do for us is, again, how we said, this will help them sit and figure out every service that could be helpful to you to get you on the right track. Okay. That's what this program is going to help us I just want to make sure that I'm not being taken to a mental hospital. No, nope, no, nope, this is not a hospital. It's okay. just a building you go to. You don't stay there. Nothing like that. Just to be honest with you, Brian, he's a great guy. I like him, mm -hmm. that cop. But he was really scaring me last time. He was intimidating me because I, I knew my rights. You know, I didn't have to jump the gun and get committed unless, you know, if I'm, yeah, if I violate the no contact mm -hmm. order, I'm... Or I'm acting strange, then yeah. You're talking about the law get... enforcement officer? Yeah, because he, he seemed to want to just pressure me into, you know, things. And I, I didn't feel comfortable with him in the room. Okay. I really didn't. Okay. So well, and that's important. If you're do ever... I need to get their contact information? Or do you no, have... we already have, I have all okay. the paperwork ready to send over to them. You don't have to set anything up. Awesome. Um, Child care aware, by the way, since her and I are legally separated right now, she doesn't have to worry about my disability paper, medical referral or anything like that, does she? I don't believe so. Good deal. Um, but I can check. But we'll f first, let's finish this conversation here. Because we'll the chances that I'm going to get it to say that I'm disabled are very low. Because I talked to the doctor at the ER when Brian took me last week. Mm -hmm. He said, you need to go get a job. You need to shut up about your disability. <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Well, let's just kind of, I think this will be, um, let's see here. I need you to. What does partial hospital mean? That's because it's. Oh, Go ahead. Do you want me to yeah. <laughs> so the partial hospital is it a lot of it has to do with billing. Um how they can bill you're gonna be there during the day. So you're gonna probably go to like How many days? It says well and how long? I think I'm not sure what that one is. Is it five days? It's a six to seven day program and then they might see you a little bit after that too. When but you say can... six to seven days, like do you mean spending the night? No, nope, you're not okay. spending you the night. Spend the how many night? hours a day? That I don't know. That'd be up to the program. Okay. But we will work with you to make sure that it works with your schedule and that we get you there on time. Okay. And we did talk. If it gets to be a lot where you need to be there all day, um, we can look at funding to get you a hotel, too, if you'd want to just stay down there to not have to come back and forth. I'd love to come back and forth because I got okay. all my stuff here. Okay, okay. So what, what do you think are the benefits that are going to come from this? Because my concern primarily is because, first of all, we, we don't have any reports of domestic violence no. in this case. We just have, he called the cops too many times, which quite frankly is not a crime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, unusual. Was did, did I think that she had, you know, gone missing? No. I was concerned that she hadn't returned. Was she driving without a license? We both know she was. Right. Because how did she get there? You know, right. get her license. I reported her because I was concerned, which that's not a symptom of psychosis. Mm -hmm. Um, reported lost or stolen, that is correct, because at that point I called Douglas County that morning and I said, look, I don't know where the vehicle's at right now, and that concerns me, which that's a normal report. So right now I guess my question is, what reason are we in the service plan and why is there no contact order if I haven't displayed any forms of aggression, haven't been violent, and haven't broken any laws? I'm not questioning it because I disagree with the service plan because I signed it, but I'm questioning it because I'm trying to ascertain what I did wrong. Mm -hmm. And you didn't do anything wrong, Jonathan. Like we talked about in the beginning, my worry is your mental health. And that's where this this adult partial hospital program okay. will help me evaluate what I need to be doing so that you can be the Correct. best father for your baby right. and what husband for your wife. Sounds good. And so that's why that's we're doing answer. that. Yep. And it's because you've came to us and said you know you need yeah, help. Of course I do. And like we talked about <laughs> so. like we talked about last week Sometimes I think it's kind of like a light switch. Sometimes your mental health is spot on. You're doing great. And then the next day, oh, things aren't well, going well. You're kind of doing some bizarre things. Quite frank with you, I don't think it's my mental health that's the problem. I think it's my level of stress because this in my last marriage, my wife was completely passive, completely loving, completely supportive. And then I met a lady who's got this, a lover to death. I mean, to some degree it's attractive, but she's got this stubborn attitude. 
where she's the one that's been violent with me. She's hit me multiple times. She's broken things. She's punched me. I've never laid a hand on her. I've never been violent with her because I learned from the domestic violence in my previous marriage. And in this situation, uh, with the disorderly conduct, the reason she got upset was because I had this on Facebook. A picture of her and her girlfriend. Okay? I didn't even get violent with her. Yes, I ripped one of her shirts, but this is not something that's, you know, is he doing what he did with Bethany? And the answer is no, he's not. I believe that what's going on now, and, and I love the baby. Wow. I mean, what a beautiful baby. I love her. I, I can do everything for her. I mean, look at how much I've cleaned the house. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I can change diapers. Right. You know, I worked at the chicken plant. I could do plucking, things like that. I can get a job if I want to. My concern is her mental health because she was talking about suicide. She was saying, if you call the cops, I'm going to divorce you. That's why I got concerned. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said I want to be named anonymous. And that's why I got upset with Brian when he told her to her face, he called the cops on you. Because yeah. I didn't want her to divorce me. Right. I'm scared of her. I'm concerned for my safety. Right. Well, in again, I think I mean we could sit and point fingers both ways all day long. But I correct. Think, but I'm actually speaking the truth. Yep. Here. Yep. And I, I, I could you. actually charge her with domestic violence for some of the things that she's done. But she's I'm not in going a safe to. place. The baby's in a safe place. And That's you're very in a safe good. Place. It's very good. That's. But I'm letting you know so that you understand. Yep. This isn't a situation where I'm I'm drooling. I'm I'm seeing purple people. No. No. Did I say some inappropriate things to social services? Well, that's yet to be determined. You, you, quite, quite possibly, yes. Is that part of my personality? Yeah. But do I know how to rein it in and behave myself? You've done very well. I'm trying. You are. <laughs> and you know, but Jonathan, here's the thing. Like, I think... I'm not disagreeing with no, anything. And I think suggesting. you go in, you have this program, you complete it. Yep. We see what's going on. We see where you're at. And then we will be able to better case plan instead of mm -hmm. just keeping you apart from your family. We can see what you need to work on to have that successful family. And I want to be honest with you. I love the idea of daycare, daycare because I can't stand the screams of a baby, the cries. I mean, okay. I could tolerate it a lot better than my last marriage, mm -hmm. but that's one of the things that stresses me out the most. Yep. And that's a stressor for me. So by having the baby in daycare and being able to take care of case management, find a place to live, like you said, this, uh, this adult partial hospital program, right? Mm -hmm. Just, I need breathing room. I don't want, my wife and my baby, um, number one, making me feel unsafe. I'm not saying the baby's making me feel unsafe. I don't want my wife threatening me or intimidating me anymore. And before we can get back together, not only do I want to see that I'm in a mental state that I want to be back with the family, but that I'm ready for her to come back. Because at this point, I don't care how long it takes for her to change. She has a lot of work to do. You both son. have a lot of work. Yeah, and, and I hope, because I don't, again, I'm not in contact. I don't even know where she's at. That's fine. I hope that she's getting the services that she needs. You both are going to be working on services. And okay. like I said, I will be working with both of you. Because I don't want her just to be taken to, you know, a shelter through someplace mm -hmm. safe and living at a house having the same problems. No, nope, no. Nope. She needs counseling. She needs therapy. Things nope. like that. You both have things you need to be working exactly. on. So what I'm going to do is, like I said, Shar and Lori are going to come out and meet with you today. Awesome. At what time? Um, I will have to, you know, actually, could I use your phone? I'll call and see what time we can get them set up. Are you here all day today? Yeah, I'm here all day. Okay, because I'm going to leave this paperwork with you. I want you to fill this out when you're, um, while you're waiting for them. So I'm going to leave that for you to work on. I'm going to call right now and we'll see if we can get something. Now, what's this admitted mean? Admitted means you're admitted to the program. It is not a place where you'll ever have to spend the night. And I can come back home every day. You can come back home. And how long am I there each day? That I don't know yet. It's usually like, oh, hi. Can I get Lori? So I'm not going to sign anything that I don't. It's usually like 8 to 3 or 8 to 5. But it's usually like almost like a work day. What do they do there? Groups. You'll learn like about your stressors. Oh, wow. How to this help, is like, like better than anger coping management. Coping skills. You'll probably do some individual therapy. You'll probably do some group therapy. Talk about stuff in a group. You'll, they'll feed you. You'll have things that are really big meals. Oh, I need to lose weight. Um, <laughs> so. They, <clears throat> yeah, it's a lot of, um, like getting your mental health on track in a quick, quick time frame. It's like they'll you'll talk about your stressors, what coping skills work. You'll talk about. Um, hey, Shar, it's Amanda. Your symptoms, what works for them. I am at Jonathan's house. Um, he is not able to come to the office today because he doesn't have a vehicle. He wanted to know if Lori and you could come to his house to meet with him. 
to gas money. We'll talk with her and see what kind of funding. This, this tank is going to And then this is, um, oh, you signed that one. This one is the one I need you to sign. Sorry. All right, now I'll have to do a copy of that one because I don't have an extra. So any other questions for me right now? Hmm. Well, I do have some questions. Okay. From what I understand, our goal is to help me with travel expenses, phone cards, obtaining services for mental health, food okay. assistance application, cash assistance okay. is what I'm going to need as well. Nope. And I actually, I am meeting with Debbie tomorrow, who was currently the one that you guys have um, helping you guys with getting your financial stuff. I'm meeting with her tomorrow to kind of let her know the scenario that's going on to see if mm -hmm. that you can get separate um, since that you guys are yeah, living we'll together right now. Yeah, we'll have to be right legally now. separated yeah. so that we can get our own because I have to be able to come up with rent here and I know that vouchers through bridges would help but ideally I would like to be able to move out to another house right here in you town, talk so. about that yep because I know that Josefa works here in town and so that's I, I mean we like Glenwood mm -hmm. so that's the goal so housing visitation with Vanille yes um also when will we be able to have visitation as a family just well, visitation. Yep, those visits would be where it could be family. As so it could well. be her. Yep, okay, yep. good deal. And like supervised, I said, when we talk, supervised visitation. Yep, right? supervised that, visits. And that's when what we, I want. When we do um, the service planning, which this week I should have your your case plan is due actually April 4th, I think. So I will um, get your case plan together and then we will all sit and go over it. We just want to make sure that these services that we're getting me into do not interfere with the finishing of my last two anger management classes nope. as part of the service plan. I'll complete the following services, diagnostic, uh, Luther Social Services Diagnostic Assessment, mm -hmm. Individual Therapy, Psychological Assessment, which is pretty much the same. Yep, they will work yeah. on those. They'll, um, psychological Assessment, too, you'll get some of those services while you're at the um, partial Correct. hospital. All right, this sounds, I mean, this is very reasonable. Yep, and then actually, Jonathan, I'll be typing up an actual case plan that we sign. I'm going to have both you and Josefa sign it. That was the one thing that she needed left for child care aware. And at this point, if we're legally separated, I don't think it makes a difference. Okay. And maybe just give them a call and let them know. At that I mean, you're eight. certainly welcome. That folder I gave you is for her. That's got her camera oh, okay. and her stuff in yep. it that she needs. So I'll get that. It's got her. all of her paperwork. So. Okay. I can add that. To yeah. In case she needs that. Um, so I will meet with both of you guys to go over the service plan and talk about what's next with that. Also, um, all of her stuff is in the garage now. Oh. None of Josefa's stuff is in the house anymore. Okay. So if they, if you ever want to come out and get her stuff, that's where it's at. Okay. So I know law enforcement came and got some stuff on Friday. Friday. Is that correct? That's okay. correct. How'd that go? Went really well. Okay. I was able to find what they needed. So. Okay. All right, Mr. Jonathan. So you're doing well. I'm a lot better. Okay. Doing good and getting better. One um, question. I know you had called up to Ketogen. No, that was just to let them know, to give them forewarning that there was a no contact order. Okay. So that if they ever saw me and her in contact, that they should report it. Okay. That's the only reason I called. Okay. But you guys have not seen each other? No, not okay. at all. You're going to stick to that and not see gonna each other? going to stick to that. Okay. I'm actually enjoying it. Okay. I mean, I miss her, but I, I think we need this time apart to grow mm -hmm. and to, to change because I want what's best for Vanille. Good. And for well, her I'm and happy for to hear that. Yeah. So. Hang in there. Lori will give you a call today. I'm in all week, so if you need anything, you can give me a call. Um, okay. Yeah. What number did you say you left me a message at? I think it might... I get those two mixed up. The 424 number? Do... I'll, um, the best one to reach me is at the... 7763. Seven, that's okay. the best number to reach me at. That's the so, one that I check my messages daily on. I assume you're just going to give me a call then when our next appointment is? Or... Yep. Okay. Yep. I'm going right, to get deal. your case plan written up. I will check in with Josefa. Um, I will call someplace safe and see about getting visits set up there for you mm -hmm. and Vanille. That's here in um, town, right? Yep. Oh, good deal. Yep. And right. so, like I said, we'll talk about, um, Lori's going to talk with you too a bit today, and then we can talk about getting like rainbow rider passes and everything so that you have a way to get around to appointments. Um, good deal. Driver's training. I got to get that done because I have my permit and I could do the behind the wheel test at any point in time. You just need to have a vehicle to do the behind the wheel. Yeah. So... What, you know, that's why I have to fight the case now because the prosecuting attorney offered me a deal. He says, show me a driver's license in the next six months and we won't put it on your record. 
So now I'm going to have to fight it and fight for my right to travel because I don't have a vehicle. Could you use Eli's? I could, but I don't like driving a big truck like that. We'll have to see what we can work out. And he, like. since he works, he wouldn't be able to do that during the day anyway. I'm also concerned about my future court date on the 14th because I don't have a ride to court. Well, in that, something, if you need help with that, um, like I said, we should have rainbow rider passes in place by then. My primary concerns are the phone minutes. Of course, mm -hmm. those aren't going to be till next month. Cash assistance, food stamps, and the ability yep. and to And the around. cash and food, once I talk to Debbie, we mm -hmm. should have something figured okay. out for that. Good deal. I, she, yeah, I would just like for her to put us on a completely legally separated case. Yeah, and I don't if, know how she, that's her department. I'll have to ask her how she yeah. can go about doing that. Sure. So. Anything else? No. Um, you like how the house looks compared to well, where it you, was? You've done very nice. I it did all of very it. very good. Eli doesn't clean for the life of him, so. Well, it keeps you busy then, and you make yeah. sure you're getting out and going for walks and doing those things, okay? All right. All right. Well, sounds, sounds good. good. Very cute kids. And thank you. Did you have any contact with them then? Not yet. Okay. Not until the restraining order's up. And when <laughs> is that? Uh, I think it's like August. Okay. Something like that. And it's against your wife or with your ex-wife? It's, it's a restraining order, yeah, for the domestic violence okay. in San Diego. So. All right. My dad is in contact with her, which I told him he needs to stop. Well. So. How are you and your dad been doing? Terrible. He doesn't talk to me at all. Okay. So. Still not getting along. Well, ever since I left Christianity. Because I, I was born, raised in it. I preached it. I you lived it. That. And I still read the Bible, but I, I see it differently now. So. Well, and you have your own rights. So. It's true. I would love for, for my, me and my dad to repair the broken relationship. It's just... Let's take care of you so, first. When, you, when, when he sees a picture like that on Facebook... Jonathan? It's true. I mean, when he sees that, it's just because he's fundamental. <laughs> well, it's appropriate. That is appropriate. Bye, Jonathan. <laughs> they, they, hey, it's they got. Bye, their, Jonathan. On. Have a good day. Too Have a good bye. afternoon. That's funny. That was fucking hilarious, guys. That was Amanda. I claimed that I was banging her in high school. Told you stuff of that, right? Well, giggity giggity. Fantastic opportunity. I'd rather be late than dead. We never really die. Yeah! Never rogue! Woo! I'm so free indeed! I'm so free indeed! Woo! Christian liberty. Uh-huh. Let me tell you what I'm talking about, y'all. Freedom! I'm free, so Christ I buy then. Man, it feels good to be free from tithe and free from my sin. Christ took my sin, held to the cross and justified me. Some folk think I'm just wildin'. This sound doctrine, I'm not just rhyming. Oh, how good it feels to be in my skin. New wine, gotta go and new wine skin. Man, I used to be so demonic till Christ came and freed me from bondage. Wasn't running the gate like Lorenzo Lamas. I promise, used to doubt like Thomas. Christ died, so I pay homage. Until faith came, I was held as a hostage. Look, man, I'm just being modest. Look, y'all, how good my God is. John 8 and 36, when the sun sets free, it's free indeed. Don't hate me. Cause I'm free, this just the G and me Man, we were enemies, but Christ took all my iniquities And misery, took a full cup of God, grabbed and gave me liberty Who the sun sets free, is truly free indeed I got the victory, Christian liberty Hey, and now I pray for my enemies I'm so free indeed, I'm so free indeed Who the sun sets free, is truly free indeed I got the victory, Christian liberty Hey, and now I pray for my enemies I'm so free indeed, I'm so free indeed It's so sad how religious this generation is This nation is, oh how sweet this regeneration is I'm born again, it's a free gift I've been set free from sin Free from deceitful men, I'm so free from TBN Free from the false teaching, I'm free from the heresy I can care less what you say about me Cause most of y'all dudes is Pharisees Free from the Mosaic Law, 613 to be exact And I'm never going Going back, Galatians 5, read it, Jack. So now don't gotta bring all the tithes into the storehouse. Y'all done made the church a den of thieves instead of the Lord's house. What about the widows and orphans? What about the poor people? Would you rather build golden alleys instead of help the Lord's people? That's why I'm free from y'all. Nope, I won't join your congregation. Nope, I won't come worship Satan. I'm free from denominations. Free from the false conversions. I'm free, homie, from all the hype. New heart, got a new star, got a new part. That's right, I'm free in Christ. Who the sun sets? 
free, it's truly free indeed I got the victory, Christian liberty Hey, and now I pray for my enemies I'm so free indeed, I'm so free indeed Who the sun sets free, it's truly free indeed I got the victory, Christian liberty Hey, and now I pray for my enemies I'm so free indeed I'm so free indeed By grace through faith your boy saved me Cause of Abraham's seed The Lord Jesus set me free So your boy is free indeed I'm so free to live, I'm so free to give Cause he lived a perfect life I don't gotta bring a sacrifice Because his death atoned for life The blood of those ghosts you did not want Sacrifices you did not want Offerings you did not want And so you bruised your only son So you sent your son to this earth to live perfect Remove the curses, fulfill the law I'm in all your awesome, so I give you worship I was destined for hell, but by his grace I've been elected, my soul is resurrected, his grace I can't neglect it, so of course I'ma represent Jesus, of course I'ma expose all false teachers, of course I'ma talk about how he freed us from Egypt and how he leads us, by his Holy Spirit we know he's an advocate, Jesus fulfilled the law, homie then he banished it, I'm free from sow and seed, meet your need, this prosperity heresy, I got the victory, Christian liberty. Who the sun sets free is truly free indeed I got the victory, you know about this Christian freedom? liberty Hey, and now I pray for my enemies I'm so free indeed, I'm so free indeed Who the sun sets free is truly free, free indeed I got the victory, Christian liberty Hey, and now I pray for my enemies I'm so free indeed, I'm so free indeed book of Galatians Chapter 3, verse 10, it says, For all who rely on works of the law are under a curse. So I think ultimately, and I understand why some teachers and pastors are afraid to just simply say, Trust in the work of Christ. Trust in the work of Christ. Because it's, it's scary. Something so simple. It's one word. One word is all we ever needed. I see you've found the answer. Then we have served our purpose here. to many different realities. However, if we hold on to what we learned here, there's nothing to fear. Can people change? If they realize it. Don't worry, others will join us soon. One simple word can bind us together. 